name is Scott Axt. I'm the assistant principal at Northwest High School. And I'm Lori Merritt. I'm the school counselor. We're here today to talk about what is a lockdown and kind of answer questions, I guess, is, is what, what lockdowns pertain to schools. So what is a lockdown? A lockdown is when we would take safety and security precautions here at the school uh, and lock our doors, lock our classroom doors. It's primarily aimed at providing safety for students. There's a lot of reasons why we would have a lockdown. Um, some being there might be an incident in the community where there's maybe a police standoff. It could be even such things as a, a, a local chemical spill uh, where there's safety concerns that uh, we want to make sure that, again, we have a safe and environment for students. So there's a lot of reasons why we perhaps have a lockdown, but uh, the main reason is just because we are concerned about maintaining a very safe environment for students. And there's really two different types of a lockdown. One would be where there's an imminent threat, like we talked about, so the kids would immediately get to safety. And the other would be where the school is still continuing to run on a normal schedule, but the outer doors would be locked and we'd really monitor students coming and going and visitors entering and exiting. How would students know the difference or what type of lockdown they're in? The Mr. Kapichka or an administrator would make an announcement over the intercom. Um, it may be students get to safety, and that would be students, you go to the nearest hallway, nearest or nearest classroom, get there, follow the teacher's instructions, hide, get down, stay out of sight. Um, it may just be students were in a lockdown, please proceed as normal. If you need to exit or, or exit the building, you know, follow the same procedures where you check out with Bonnie still. So if I'm at lunch or in a passing period and I hear the announcement, go to safety, what should I do? During a passing time or during lunch or something like that, or if you're in the hallway, the best thing to do is try to get to the nearest classroom as possible. Uh, when you get to the nearest classroom, ask the teacher for further instructions, but uh, make sure you stay away from the door and the windows, and uh, probably more likely the teacher's going to give you instructions or advise you to take cover and, and uh, kind of follow a certain protocol that we have in place for the teachers. If I'm a senior and, and I'm out of the building and I come back and the front doors are locked, what do I do? If you're, in a, if you're coming back into the building, if it was an actual threat, by then hopefully the police would be in, um, on site. They would be present. So they would be blocking your entrance and keeping you in a, a spot that was secure until the building was cleared. Um, if it's a lockdown, we'll pl place a sign on the window just st stating that we're in a drill, just wait until the doors are opened and we'll get, you, we'll get you going quick. And then when I am in my classroom, how will I know when it's safe to come out? When you're in the classroom and the lockdown has been lifted, uh, we will make an announcement from the central office. And we would also, depending on what type of lockdown situation we're in, is one of the reasons what we would either make an announcement or we'd have officers approach the classroom and they would give the all clear um, to the staff member that they can go ahead and... Uh, open their doors or release students in, in that. So it kind of depends a little bit about what type of lockdown we're in, uh, but we would give students and staff uh, directions of what they would need to do going forward. Okay, thank you Mr. X and Mrs. Merritt. Uh, that gives us all a good insight onto what to do in case of a lockdown.